Hello everyone. Today's lesson is lesson 63, identifying missing add-ins for a sum of 1,000 and making change from $10. So several lessons ago, we learned how to find a missing add-in for a sum of 100 and how to make change for a dollar. So here I have 67 plus something equals 100. If you remember the trick, my when I to figure out what I'm missing here, the ones place, when I add the ones places together, they have to equal 10. I have to have 10 ones, and in the tens place, it has to add up to equal 9. So I need 9 tens and 10 ones to add up to equal 100. Okay. So we have, we think 7 plus what equals 10? Well, 7 plus 3 equals 10. And then 6 plus what equals 9? Well, 6 plus 3 equals 9. So my missing number is 33. Okay. So we can do the same thing when we're finding missing add-ins for sums of 1,000. So here I have 175 plus 1,000. So, on this one, the, dip, the number I'm missing is actually the number 825. So let's go ahead and look at this. If we notice, we have our ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. Okay. In the ones place, if I add my ones places together, that's 5 and 5. Well, 5 plus 5 equals 10. So I need to have 10 ones when I add the, my, the ones placed together. 7 plus 2 is 9, and 1 plus 8 equals 9 as well. So I need to have the sum of each of the numbers is I need to have 10, the sum has to equal 10 in the ones place, 9 in the tens place, and 9 in the hundreds place. So if we look at this problem, we have 427. Now remember, for the ones place, the 7 plus something has to equal 10. So 7 plus 3 equals 10. In the tens place, the two sums have to, the sum of the two numbers has to equal 9. So 2 plus what equals 9? Well, 2 plus 7 equals 9. And then in the hundreds place, the sum also has to equal 9. So 4 plus 5 is 9. So my total number is going to be 573. And we can double check that. 3 plus 7 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So my answer is correct. Let's practice with these ones. So I need to think that 2 plus something has to equal 10. So 2 plus 8 equals 10. 4 plus something has to equal 9. So 4 plus 5 equals 9. And 3 plus 6 equals 9. So the answer is 658. Okay. On the next one, 3 plus something equals 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10. 5 plus 4 equals 9. And 6 plus 3 equals 9. So just remember that the sum of the ones place has to add up to equal 10. The sum of the tens place has to add up to equal 9, and the sum of the hundreds place also has to add up to equal 9. Okay, so let's try one more here. So we have 9 plus something equals 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. 3 plus 6 is 9. And 5 plus 4 is also 9. So the answer is 461. Okay, so 
This helps us when we're trying to figure out change because a $10 bill is the same as 1,000 pennies. So here, a toy costs $2.57. A customer pays for it with a $10 bill. How much money would, would she get back? So we would have $2.57 $2 plus something equals the $10. So again, we want to say that 7 plus something equals 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 5 plus something has to equal 9. 5 plus 4 equals 9. And 2 plus something has to equal 9. 2 plus 7 equals 9. So the customer should get back $7.43. And we can double check by, by adding it. So $2.57 plus $7.43. 7 plus 3 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 4 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 is 10. So my answer is correct. Now to show that with money, they would end up having one five dollar bill, two one dollar bills, twenty five, thirty five, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three. So the customer would get back a five dollar bill, two one dollar bills, one quarter, one dime, one nickel, and three pennies. Okay, on this one, a toy costs $3.15. Customer pays for it with a $10 bill. How much money will she get back? Okay, so we have $3.15 plus something equals $10. Okay, so I think 5 plus something equals 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 1 plus something equals 9, 1 plus 8 equals 9, and 3 plus something equals 9. 3 plus 6 equals 9. So the customer will get back $6.85, which looks like this. 5, 6 dollars, then we have 25, 50, 75, and then 85. So she'll have a $5 bill, a $1 bill, three quarters, and one dime. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.